Ha uh, yes, a recap from last week. I certainly don't know if I would show that. I mean, it can't get any worse than that, can it? Welcome back, people. I am here for episode five of The Acolyte. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself, but I do. And you're here with me, so let's enjoy the show. I mean, if you saw Osha's neck snap last week, she wouldn't be standing up. She'd be dead. But the first thing that she does, you know, she knows that there is a Sith around or a dark force user and decides that the most important thing here is to make sure that her droid is okay. Now she's back here on the opening right in front of the hut. And this is the area where she tripped. No, no, hold on. Not only did she just trip, she fell over the only obstacle there for her to trip over, which was him. <laughs> Damn! This Sith can really take on so many Jedi. I mean, really, no problem taking over the Jedi whatsoever. And the amount of it. Wow. So, apparently, the armor, or at least the helmet, can cause lightsabers to malfunction or short-circuit or something. To the point that they can't turn on for a little while and... And then it takes a bit to warm up again. The plot armor is strong with this one. So this Sith is having an easier time with four or five Jedi than Darth Maul had with Qui-Gon alone. That's quite a feat right there. But where is Sul and his Padawan? Are they not there fighting? Wonder where they went off to. <laughs> Ah, Soul showed up just in time. Just in time. What's happening? What? How can trees fall upward? I guess gravity is no longer a thing in Star Wars. And that was before the intro? There's more of this? So the Padawan hid to attack the evil twin here. So she hid while all of her comrades, the other Jedi, were being slaughtered. All right, what a surprise. Another bad fighting scene and another time that a Jedi doesn't grab their lightsaber you would think at this point when so many of your comrades have been murdered and you are facing a jedi murderer it would be okay to use your lightsaber so they back up into the hut and uh, evil twin is about arrested almost uh, who is with whatever guys weird jedi knight guy uh He's supposed to take her to the ship, and they've left quite some time ago and should be halfway to the ship, but somehow they can hear her. But the answer from the Jedi is, wow, um, the Jedi Padawan can handle herself. She doesn't need our help. You know, Jedi Padawan should go up against someone who killed. Jedi. Instead of continuing to move on, they stop in the middle of the forest listening to their friend screaming, uh, trying to, to fight the evil twin. And they just have a, a conversation about, what do you think that thing back there is? And he's like, I don't know what it is. Doesn't make any sense to me. It's like, okay, if you if you don't want to call your enemy a Sith, because you don't, you know, maybe that's like a, it's a Lord Voldemort kind of deal. Like you don't speak his name or something like that. Like, I guess I, you know, whatever, but like at least acknowledge that it is a dark force user. Oh no, never mind. I guess, uh, I have no words. 
I guess Padawan here is able to defeat the uh, one of the chosen two. Wait, hold on. Wasn't Soul supposed to be holding the Sith off? Where in the hell did he come from? More plot armor, uh, turning off lightsabers. Oh, lucky she has another lightsaber with her. Oh, and now it's back. Ugh, that smirk. Ugh. That smirky freaking grin. Jesus. Oh, yeah, evil twin here gets up and runs away. What a freaking coward. Ugh, I can't even. Why cut someone loose? You are trying to kill. And then Soul and the Padawan show up and are like trying to save the evil twin, who is a psychopathic Jedi murderer. <laughs> Nah, she's fine. I mean, she's girl boss, right? She's going to live. Surprise! It's Ezra Miller. The what? The what now? Why in the hell are we protecting the psychotic Jedi murderer in this scene? No, Soul is, is, has his lightsaber in his hand. The Sith is going to kill the evil twin, like, no matter what you do. But Soul just throws away his lightsaber, trying to protect May or whatever evil twin. And it's like, now you have nothing. Now all the Sith has to do is kill the evil twin and then attack you and you're done for. You don't have a lightsaber. Holy crap. What is this? Like, honestly, did nobody, when writing this, just picture it? And like, oh, this seems strange. Why would he throw away his lightsaber, giving away his only leverage? Like, your enemy is still going to try to kill the person you're trying to save and then going to kill you. Unless, of course, they stop for a monologue to tell you all about their evil plan. I'm not joking, you people. They stop the fight. There is a monologue. Ezra Miller goes out of his way to tell people why he's going to kill, o uh, not Osha, why he's going to kill Evil Twin, why he's a Sith, why he's attacking the Jedi, and that he just wants an apprentice to train. Holy hell! Hey, I could have written a better story than this. Honestly. Shit. At least annoying Jedi dude is now dead. Use the force, soul. Grab your lightsaber with the force before you get attacked instead of doing hand-to-hand -hand combat with the Sith. Like, why? He finally grabbed his lightsaber, defeated the Sith, and right before he took out the Sith, Osha runs in and says, No! Now, look, she just stops Soul from killing the Sith. It's like, why? Like, was this supposed to be some kind of an honor kill because she goes up, puts a light onto the Sith, and these bugs from... Uh, last episode or the episode before, I don't even really remember, come and attack him because they follow the light. What? I mean, at this point, I think everyone has put together what Soul and his companions did 10 years ago. The only person not putting it together is Osha. Oh, but then Evil Twin comes and stuns soul and we have this beautiful moment yep 
this beautiful moment. How lovely. So they fight. Evil twin wins. This happens. Lightsabers cut hair. Evil Sith guy is still alive. That was sure smart to stop Soul from killing him. For some reason, Soul can't sense a difference between his former Padawan and the evil twin. But he can smell the difference. And here at the beginning of the episode, I thought it couldn't get any worse. Hold on. I did find chocolate in this episode. Is it chocolate? Is it really chocolate? Is it going to stay chocolate? But for now, after this episode, the way it stopped, I did find two pieces of chocolate. Padawan died, maybe, and Weird Jedi Guy died. There we have it. That is your two pieces of chocolate in today's episode. Wow. This episode was really extremely bad. I can't believe how bad it was. And honestly, even these two pieces of chocolate that were mixed in with the heaping, stinking, smoldering pile of shit. It's not really great writing. Even if I'm celebrating that they might actually probably come back because, like, you know, oh, the, the, the annoying Jedi guy, he's probably not coming back. He had his neck twisted. But girl boss Padawan, I could see her coming back because, I mean, it's only a flesh wound, right? It's only a stabbing through your chest and abdomen. But I mean, what do I know, right? I mean, that's Star Wars nowadays. Uh, yeah. I mean, let's be perfectly honest. This episode was worse than last episode. And these two pieces of chocolate, not that great. And it's like, he, the villain has to explain to you why he is doing what he's doing. Like in really old, campy, and just cringy dialogue. Holy cow. Mm. Honestly, this, I, beyond words, and it almost defeated me, but I had come back to my recordings, and I think about you, the people watching my videos, instead of watching Disney Star Wars, and I'm really enjoying your comments, the way you perceive me watching this and you enjoying me torturing myself it's all part of the fun anyway that being said thank you for stopping by if you like this video smash that like button comment down below your thoughts on this or hey if you didn't like what i'm doing here give me a thumbs down that's all right anyway thank you for stopping by and until next time stay cool